Hi! Hi folks! Welcome to another video in this series of America's English. Well, not so much America's English. I guess English English. Any English. And what I would like to explore with you today is a rather a peculiar word the word nevertheless. Now you would think that is three words, right? Never, the, and less. Uh -uh. It's one word together, squeeze them together, and what do you got? Nevertheless. Let us explore together the definition of the three words put together to make one word, nevertheless. You use nevertheless when saying something that contrasts with what has just been said. Here's an example. Although the market has been flat, Residential property costs remain high. Nevertheless, the fall off in demand has had an impact on resale values. Now, to explore this a little further, let's look at the synonyms. Words meaning the same, but that are different. Even so, still, however, yet, regardless, nonetheless. Gee, another three-letter word, three-word letter. Wait, it's in the three-word word, <laughs> notwithstanding, in spite of that, even though, and everybody's favorite, but. So that should help you <laughs> understand a little more detail on what the word nevertheless, nevertheless means. It is also a word that is in the Bible. Yeah, well, there's a lot of words in the Bible, but it's in the New King James Version. <laughs> Luke 5, 5. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. See? <laughs> we used the word now. We used it 2,000 years ago. But wait a minute. <laughs> Did they speak English in that part of the world? Translations. All right, folks, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. Nevertheless, <laughs> see you. <ya. laughs>